I know what you're trying to do. You are trying to entice me with all these gifts and So guys, welcome, welcome back to another exciting episode with GC and Chow will give you the exciting gist and updates on the entertainment space. So on today's episode, we are going to be talking about the review on A Player's Heart, which happens to be a Morrison production. Like after seeing that movie, I feel like it is actually a good, like it is worth watching. It's actually, the storyline was really, really interesting. So guys, I'm going to be giving you all the full review on this particular movie, like tell you the whole just on this particular movie the title of the movie is a player's heart and it featured a lot of amazing actors like maurice sam who acted the role of um, one day we had uche montana who had the role of gina now gina was actually a lady who was going through the process of divorce but her husband doesn't want to sign the divorce papers because of some selfish reasons known to him then one day on the other hand was an excessive humanizer he had two baby mamas but he was very successful with his business like he had humanizing at the top like he was literally eating women as breakfast <laughs> hey so gina and um one day happened to have known themselves while they were still growing up they were childhood neighbors when she was still in lagos before she and her parents relocated to um, port harcourt so she met one day and she told him that she wanted to work with him as his housekeeper he rejected it at first because he knew that she had a degree but she insisted that that was what she wanted to do as of now now he also he had to chase off the girl that he was with that money because he had to entertain her and note that gene um, one day actually had a huge time crush on um gina like while growing up he liked her so much so he was really doing everything to impress her and everything so um the next day his two baby mama happened to come because that they normally do it constantly come to the house fight to themselves and ask for money even though he paid for child support and when gina overheard it they were like ah, is this the third baby mama and so on but she had to clear off herself and introduce herself that she is just a close friend to one day that they happened to be family and so on she was really shocked when she heard or when she saw that he had two baby mamas because hey one baby mama is a handful talkless of two so she was so shocked and that was it and on the other hand he had this friend known as larry who happened to be you know bed of a fed out they flock together so him and his friend were actually humanizing in fact they were sharing women on a regular basis so when he came to the house he saw gina he thought gina was one of those girls he was he tried flirting with her but she um didn't fall into his flirt. then one day came out and one day warned him that he shouldn't go near gina because she is a different kind of person but his advances didn't stop there he continued throwing his advances at gina but she kept on rejecting him so time passed Gina was really making a good impact on one day's life because she was making him she wasn't bringing in women to his house wasn't going out for neat um, clubbings and drinking and smoking and so on and so forth like he was now becoming responsible and his um driver who happens to be hafa was really really excited and she was so happy because he has been trying to tell him advise him but he wouldn't just listen so when he saw that there were little and um, progressive changes he was really really impressed and he that made him love gina so much so as time went on um the baby mamas they were like trying to um bribe gina so that gina could talk to one day to wife them and so on hey <laughs> not knowing that something is really going on behind closed doors but she rejected their advances and moved on but whereas as Oka was not bringing women to the house there was something like a hotel where he would take them to and catch his phone but at least he respected her privacy by not bringing women into the house progress so on this particular day they were actually having a family they were actually eating together him gina and his friend larry that guy was really annoying in that movie so he was making advances at her 
touching her legs and all those things and she was it was making her feel so uncomfortable one did notice but he was she he didn't really get the full gist about because she didn't say anything at all so he came to the kitchen trying to make his own advances at gina but gina warned him like gave him a serious warning but it seemed like that didn't stop there at all now happening on the other hand her abusive husband came back and he was looking for her everywhere and this guy one day is actually a flat oh let me just and let me put it out maurice was a flat in that movie <laughs> like now if apart from apart from um sonia uche another person that morissam has a close chemistry with is uche montana ah it was so intense like the chemistry was so intense hey if you haven't watched this movie please you guys you can watch it because the whole intensity of this particular movie was something else i was like ah ah hey is this real like how i watched this movie and i was asking myself like how do these nollywood actors actually portray these roles even though they don't have anything like all these romantic roles and they go like everything just moves on smoothly so he actually he invited her for a dinner date she this um she refused at first but after so much convincing and the sweet talks she fell for and they decided to go for dinner on the next day but unfortunately he had a business meeting he had to attend to and then his friend larry when he got information that he wasn't around he decided to use that as the perfect opportunity to do what he wants to do he decided to barge into the house and have his way with um, gina but thankfully the flight was cancelled and he came back home when he heard the scream of gina he rushed down to her room and he found out that his friend larry was trying to rape Hey, Gina, he was so pissed off, like so so angry. They got Larry got um apprehended, he was thrown into the prison. But on the other hand, one day was feeling so bad because he felt like he was feeling guilty actually that um he's friends with such kind of person, and you know how the feeling he has for Gina already, so he couldn't he wasn't able to bear the whole pain and guilt, he couldn't even look at her at the face because he was feeling so guilty and everything then when gina noticed she talked to him and also tried to explain that she's okay and she's fine before they now agreed and they moved on with life so he started or he was watching over her because he didn't want anything bad to happen to her <laughs> hey love like i was asking myself that see what love can actually make somebody do a cook a whole casanova is now acting so soft and gentle so he was watching over her while she was sleeping even though she told him that okay but still yet he decided to agree he even make her um breakfast made her food and so on so that was when he started narrating his whole life history and why he decided to be a casanova because of how he grew up his mother was actually a cheat always cheating on the dad so he told himself that he would never allow any woman treat him the way his mom treated his dad then her friend called her and told her that her husband that she's running from is actually back got information about where she's staying now and is coming for her he actually got the um, information went to the house and made a survey of everywhere so that was how um now one thing i didn't really made a mistake because she would have told one day the whole story although she wanted to tell him but it was really late for her to explain that she was married because one day at first told her that no matter how he human um, humanized he doesn't involve himself with married women that was what he told her but instead she didn't tell him about it that she was married so when the husband came to the house he introduced himself as gina's husband he was so shocked and he was so so shocked because gina married how and gina did not tell him gina was also shocked on her own hand he was so angry at gina because gina did, did, didn't tell him that she was married or whatsoever then she explained to him why she had to leave the marriage that they've returned the bride price but they are still going through the process of divorce in the court since he has refused to sign off 
the document. Now she she told him that the reason why she had to leave the marriage was because he was being too abusive and showed him some bruises on her body. He was so mad, he was so angry, and he went to the hotel where he was lodged and gave him the best warning of his life, like gave him a really really good warning. So Gina was trying to call one day, but one day was not really responding at all. So she decided to leave the house after so many um because she didn't want him to feel um how will i put it she didn't want him to feel afraid of his house or she didn't want him to be avoiding home because he was staying in the hotel after that moment so she decided to leave the house and come back to port harcourt with her friend finally the husband divorced her and she was so happy after so many restless nights and thinking and thinking he just knew that he couldn't stop he couldn't help but live with china so he had to go back to Portaco, trace her to wherever she was go back and also his driver was really really a good person because he was the one who was actually telling him that he should go and get her because she has been of positive impact on his life like she brought value to his life so at the end of the day they got married and that was how they lived happily ever after so the movie is actually a good watch, a really, really good watch. So come down to the comment section and also drop your own rating about this particular movie. Tell me what you think or your own suggestions on this particular movie. I'm going to be seeing you guys in my next video. Thank you and God bless.